Now we move on to question eight. So this is our database question. I know this is a feared question, but let's dispel those fears and let's help you get the best marks possible. So in 2024, this is what they gave you, database, picture, text file. Okay, so let's open the database and let's look at what they're asking of us. Now, please remember, if you get that yellow banner up here that says enable content, please do click on that. So let's look at what they're asking us to do. Firstly, they want us to import a text file. Then we've got a couple of questions under the table section. So we know most of this is going to be in the properties, in our design view. We've then got some items on forms and our reports and a couple of query. Well, just one query. Okay, so let's go and tackle this. The first one, as I saw there in 8.1, is importing the text file. And they tell us what it is located in the folder into the existing table called table animals. So let's go and do that. So here's our table animals. And let's see what they want us to do. Now we're going to go external data. We're then going to go new data source. We're going to go from file. Now, please, if it's a text file or it's a CSV, you're going to be using this text file over here. Okay, now look what look what they're telling us. Look what options they're giving us. They say uh, import the source data into a new table in the current database. What did the question say? It said into the existing table. The second one says append a copy of the records to the table, and then you need to choose. And they said it's table animals. Or the other one says link to the data source by creating a linked table. Now, what are they asking us to do? They say import the text file into the existing table called table animals. So this is the only one that gives us that option. Okay. So once we've got that, we need to browse for our particular file. And let me just go into that. That was 2024. Animals import. So you've seen what I've done there. Then I'm going to click OK. Right. Uh, must be closed. OK, so that. So please, you saw that that came up. That's because the table was open. OK, so it needs to be closed. Then from there, you've got two options. You've got delimited and you've got fixed width. So you need to choose which one of the two. Usually when it picks up fixed width or so, um, it will tell you that and then you'll be able to use it. So as a result, we're just going to leave that and we're going to click next. Then we're going to leave everything in place here. Remember, we're just going as per the instructions and it hasn't told us to do any of those things. Import to table. There it's confirming that. And we're going to click finish and close. OK, there they just gave us our import errors and everything's done. Right. The next one tables and we're looking now at this section over here and we're looking at table animals again now they give us a few instructions the first of which is this one animal id then animal name then animal gender but look at this four marks data must be entered or data entered must be in the following format all uppercase three compulsory letters one compulsory number two optional numbers hmm why does that sound familiar? <laughs> that is our input mask. So we're going to go to animal ID. We're going to go all the way down here to our input mask. Now, when we need all the letters in uppercase, we are going with our greater than sign. And when we want compulsory, what did they say? Three compulsory letters, one compulsory number, and two optional numbers okay and there's our input mask then they want us to go to animal name and they want to make sure that those characters in that field um only has a length of 25 so we're just going to change that 255 to 25 then they want us to go to animal gender and they want us to make sure that there is a validation rule only the letters m or f may be entered so we're just going to go to validation rule m or f and then the validation text that is entirely on you i mean you can just say only m or f may be entered anything like that next one 
um, animal type, animal type, what do they want us to do? It must get its values from the table, table types. It must be presented as a combo box. So if we go back here, what we're going to end up doing is I just want to go to table animals and animal type. So you see here, there's no combo box here, right? Okay. So let's go back. How do we create a combo box? We're going to go to look up wizard. And now they say to us that they want us to get the values from a particular table. So we're going to use option one. Then we're going to specify which table and they want us to get it from table types. We're going to click next. We're going to say we want that animal type field. And they say that ensure the values are displayed in alphabetical order. So again, choosing animal type in the sorting here, ascending, next. There you can see how it's displayed and um nothing else nothing else okay so now everything's done but we just want to go back here to see is it displayed as a combo box yes it is okay so that's done next one date of birth field date of birth field and they say in here that the date of birth field must display the date in the following format. And they give us the picture here, 11 Feb 24. Now, the minute I see month, 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 and I see all the years over here, we're going to change that. Um, we're going to click over here. We can choose there. It is our medium date. Does that comply? Yes, it does. All right, next one, date rescued. And we're almost done with our tables. This one says the date rescued field must be entered for every record and may not be left in empty. Ah, what's that telling us? It is required. Required. And we are done. We're done with everything in our table section. Okay. Now we move on to our forms and we only have the one form. They tell us here that we need to edit that form. Okay. And I think there's actually a picture as to what they want it to look like. They want us to edit the size of the text, insert an image, all of that. And this is what they want it to look like. Edit the size of the text. So let's just go into our design view and um, head it to 35. So I'm just going to go and change that to 35 and then just open that up okay done next one insert the image adopt.jpg in the q8 folder centered in the detail section so we need to insert okay so we're just going to go to insert image and there we see our picture. Obviously, if it's not there, you're going to have to browse for that. And they want it more or less in the center. The last one, insert a button in the form footer. Now, remember, we're going to form design. We're looking up here in the controls. Is there one that says a button? Yes. So they want it in the form footer. So we're just going to draw it. I'm going to leave it there for now. Then it says that will print the form when the button is clicked. So what do we want to do? Form operations, print, and you see you've got print a form and print the current form. They said a button that will print the form when the button is clicked. Next, next, just gonna leave it like that. And when we go back, you see there you've got, see there, taking me to print, I've got my picture, got my text done. So let me just close this. Next one, they want me to, for two marks, create a form. So I'm going to create, I'm going to go to form wizard. And I'm creating a form uh, based on table animals. So table animals, and they want all the fields. They haven't given me anything in terms of layout, so I just leave, oh, no, wait, they have, sorry, it's justified. Okay, there we go. So justified. And they want us to name it form underscore animal data. 
So they want us to create a report. So again, we're going to create, and now we're going to go with report wizard. And they want us to use the table donors. And it says use the fields donor surname, donor name, and volunteer. Okay. Then they tell us to sort the data alphabetically according to the field donor surname. So this is grouping. They haven't asked us to do any grouping. We're going to sort it alphabetically according to the donor surname. So that's fine. Um, ensure the orientation is set to landscape. Nothing about the layout. And they want us to name this report underscore donor volunteers. Okay, so there we have our report. The only thing that was missing now is that they wanted us to come to apply conditional formatting to the field volunteer that displays all the records with a Y in green shading. Okay, so in order to do that, we need to right click on there, go to design view. And we are in going to be in the details section, we're going to click on volunteer, then we're going to go up here, and we're looking for conditional formatting. We're going to click on that, making sure that the rules are for volunteer. Now, what rule are we putting in? They said all the records that have a Y. So we're going to go field value is equal to, and then we're simply going to put in a Y. And they want it with green shading. Okay, that's all. Click OK, click Apply, click OK, and we double click on that. There we go. Conditional formatting done in our report. Right, then they want us to save and close that. So yes, we want to save it. That's fine. In the last one, they said... Um, in terms of the reports, open report donation. So we've got that. Now, I see we've got some calculations here. The report donations, it says calculate and display the total amount of donations for volunteers and non-volunteers. Where? In the volunteer footer. Okay, so we're going to go to our design view. We're looking for our volunteer footer. There it is. Okay. Ensure the answer displays in currency. Now, before you do that, don't worry about the answer displaying in currency yet. Let's just get the calculation. We can always do the currency after that. So they're saying again, calculate and display the total amount of donations for volunteers and non-volunteers. So when you are getting a total amount, what are you doing? Remember Excel, what are we doing? We are putting in a sum. So please don't use labels, right? We're going to go, we're going to use a text box. We're going to put that in there and I'm just going to type in here total, but this is where the work gets done, right? So what am I going to start with? I just mentioned it. We're going to go equals sum. Now, what would we usually have done? We would usually have our brackets and we would put in like, you know, A6 to, I don't know, B5 or something like that. Yeah, we're just going to refer to a particular field. And the field that we are referring to is amount of donation. And remember, when we deal with our fields, we need to put in those particular brackets. We're then going to go back, go all the way down, go have a look and see, do we have our total? And there we go. Okay, so the total displays, but we want it in currency. Right, let's go back. How are we going to get this now to display in currency? What we're going to do is we're going to go to our property sheet. We're going to go to format and under our format, we're going to go to currency. Now, when we go back all the way to the bottom, we should have it. Our answer displayed in currency. The next one says display the total number of donors at the end of the report. Okay, so we're going to go again into our design view. We're going to go to our 
report footer, we're going to do exactly the same thing. Do we need the label? We don't necessarily need the label, but how are we going to um, display the total number of donors? We're going to go equals count. And we're just going to put in our star so that it counts everything. Um, we can actually get rid of that label and go all the way back here. And there we've got our count. Right. Last one for four marks. 10% of each donation amount will be put into a trust fund to help other nonprofit organizations. Create a calculated field for each record to determine the amount that will be added to the trust. Ensure this new field has a descriptive label here, there, right? And displays as currency. Okay, so all we're going to do going to go back um let's see where they want us to put that in ah so they give us they actually give us a picture here let me show you give us a picture here of what it must look like okay so we're going to go back so we're going to go to our page editor we're going to add in a label And our label, we can put in there, what do they say? Trust fund amount. Then in the detail section, I'm going to put in a text box. And I'm going to put in what I want, which is really just taking the field or the details of whatever's in the field amount of donation. And we want to multiply that by 10%. So, you know, with Excel, we've done this before. I can just go with 0 0.1 to give me that answer. Um, sorry. And then I can just get rid of my label. Go back to view and there we go. That's how I've added my calculation. And it displays for all of them. The only thing now is, again, I've got to do this in currency, right? So just make sure you go back. Again, okay, click on it. We want to go to our properties, format, currency. Go back here. And there we go. It is done. All right. So that's everything for our reports. And then our last four marks is a query and they want us to open a query and display all the female cats and sort the query ascending according to the animal type. So let's close this here. Yes, we want to save the changes, open up query all dogs, cats. We're going to go to design view. Okay, so the first thing they want us to do, remember this is four marks, so just take it easy. Display all the female cats. So animal gender, we're going to go to criteria, we're going to put in an F, and then I want only the female cats. So what am I going to do now? I'm going to go to the criteria here. I'm going to type in cat, and then I'm going to go run my query. So now do I have a list of only the female cats? Yes, I do. Okay, that's sorted out. Next thing they wanted, sort the query ascending according to the animal type. So Go to sort here, go to ascending, and run the query, and that's that. And folks, that is the 40 marks from Access for the 2024 track paper. See you in HTML.